ओजोन प्रेजेंट स्मार्ट डिजिटल फर्नीचर लॉक द स्मार्ट डिजिटल फर्नीचर लॉक ऑफर्स अ वाइड वेराइटी ऑफ फीचर्स अनबॉक्सिंग इन साइड द बॉक्स यू विल फाइंड द यूजर मैनुअल फ्रंट पैनल बैक पैनल कवर प्लेट अ स्क्रू पैकेट एंड फोर डबल ए एल्कलाइन बैटरीज द फॉलोइंग टूल्स आर रिक्वायर्ड टू इंस्टॉल द स्मार्ट फर्नीचर लॉक installation place the front panel on the almira and fix it with screws provided with the packing insert the spindle in the back panel and then connect the front panel wire in the back panel port now connect the back panel with the front panel and fix it with screws Remove battery cover and insert four AA batteries and fix the cover back. Note: Always use high quality alkaline batteries for better performance. Operate the lock in default mode. Open with user password. Enter the user password 1234 default password and press okay. Within 3 seconds turn the handle down to open the lock. Turn the handle back to its initial position to lock. Operate the lock in default mode. Open with master password. Enter master password 12345678 default password and press okay. Within 3 seconds, turn the handle downward to open the lock. Turn the handle back to its initial position to lock. Operate the lock in default mode. Open with fingerprint. Place your finger on the fingerprint scanner. A beep sound with unlocking indicator will turn on. Within three seconds, turn the handle downward to open the lock. Turn the handle back to its initial position to lock. Change master password. In order to change password, the lock should be in open position. Enter default master password followed by C button. A long beep sound heard and unlocking indicator start flashing quickly. Enter new 4 to 15 digits master password of your choice and press OK. A long beep will be heard. That means your new master password registered successfully. Open the lock by master password. Enter the master password. Press OK. Within 3 seconds turn the handle downward to open the lock. Turn the handle back to its initial position to lock. Note, if user open lock through master password, then user password will be reset to default. Change user password. In order to change the password, the lock should be in open position. Enter the default user password followed by the C button. A long beep sound will be heard and the unlocking indicator light will start flashing. Enter the new 4 to 15 digit user password of your choice and press okay. A long beep sound will be heard, which means your new user password registered successfully. Open the lock by user password. Enter the user password and press okay. Within 3 seconds turn the handle downward to open the lock. Turn the handle back to its initial position to lock. Register master fingerprint. Enter master password followed by C button. A long beep sound will be heard and unlock indicator start flashing. Place the master finger on the fingerprint scanner for 1 second. Long beep sound heard indicates that finger has been added successfully. Note Maximum 10 fingers can be added as master fingerprint. Open with master fingerprint. Place master finger on fingerprint scanner. A beep sound will hear with unlocking indicator turn on. Within 3 seconds turn the handle downward to open the lock. Turn the handle back to its initial position to lock. Register user fingerprint. 
Place master finger on the fingerprint scanner for one second. A long beep will be heard with the unlocking indicator turning on. Place master finger again on the fingerprint scanner for one second. A long beep sound heard. The unlocking indicator will start flashing. Now place other user's finger on the fingerprint scanner for one second. A long beep sound heard indicates that finger has been added successfully. Note, maximum 10 fingers can be added as user fingerprint. Make sure the user fingerprint and master fingerprint cannot be same. Open with user fingerprint. Place finger on fingerprint scanner. A beep sound will be heard and unlocking indicator will turn on. Within 3 seconds, turn the handle downward to open the lock. Turn the handle back to its initial position to lock. Enable dual combination mode. Enter master password and press OK. A long beep sound will be heard with unlocking indicator turning on. Press OK again for 2 seconds. Now enter 94 and press OK button to turn on dual combination mode. Once the dual combination mode is on, only two different user fingerprints can operate the lock. Note, master password can unlock directly. Operate lock in dual combination mode. Place user's first finger on fingerprint scanner. A beep sound will be heard. Place second user's finger on fingerprint scanner. A beep sound will be heard and unlocking indicator shall turn on. Within 3 seconds, turn the handle downward to open the lock. Turn the handle back to its initial position to lock. Disable dual combination mode. Enter master password and press OK. A long beep sound will hear an unlocking indicator turn on. Then press OK again. Enter 93 and press OK button to turn off dual combination mode. Enable alarming function. Enter master password and press OK button. A long beep sound will be heard with unlocking indicator turning on. Press OK again. The unlocking indicator will start blinking. Enter 96 and press OK to turn on alarming function. Auto secure mode. After the four wrong entries, the lock will automatically go into auto secure mode for 60 seconds followed by an alarm sound. During this time, enter correct password or wait for 60 seconds. Note, if there will be any unwanted activity for the alarm to turn off, violent destruction or improper movement, the alarm sound will beep and the auto secure mode is activated automatically. Disable alarming function. Enter master password and press OK button. A long beep sound will be heard with unlocking indicator turn on. Press OK again. The unlocking indicator will start blinking. Enter 95 and press OK to turn off alarming function. Delete fingerprint. Place the management fingerprint on the fingerprint scanner. A long beep sound will be heard while the unlocking indicator light will turn on. Again place the management fingerprint on the fingerprint scanner. A long beep sound will be heard while the unlocking indicator light will start blinking. Again place the management fingerprint on the fingerprint scanner. A long beep sound will be heard while the low voltage indicator light will start flashing. Enter 000 and press OK. A long beep sound will be heard indicating that all the registered fingerprints have been deleted successfully. Low battery indicator. Low battery status can be indicated by three beep sounds followed by the activation of the red light indicator. Emergency battery backup. If the batteries are completely discharged, then use external power supplies through a 9-volt alkaline battery on the right-hand side of the lock. 
open the lock with registered master or user password or fingerprint to open the door. Reset lock manually. Press reset button on the back panel. A long beep sound will indicate that the all user and master passwords and fingerprints on the database have been deleted successfully and the lock is in default mode. Decode If the password has been forgotten or fingerprint is inaccessible, then you can decode by sharing a unique code mentioned on the upper side of the lock to the designated customer care executive. The customer care executive will provide the decode number. Use that number and press OK. Master and user password will be reset to default mode. Contact Ozone Customer Care for more assistance. The Smart Digital Furniture Lock from Ozone. Designed for your safety, your security, your protection.